Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to the Cool Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great this morning. I brought to you another amazing video on logo design. How you can come up with a simple logo on your Android smartphone using your Pixela, and how you can present it on the markup using PhotoPay. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Just go to your uh, the shape box, then you select the one shape, just as this. After selecting that, then the next thing you are going to do is to position it to the center. You're heading back to the uh, the shape box. Then you have this particular shape. Go in there and choose the one which having this particular icon. Then you are going to position it around this place. Endeavor to increase the size of this circle. Change the color to black so that you can be able to cut it out. You can change to other color except white. After having that one done, then you rotate this. Rotate it. Then you position it around this place. Shift it up a little bit. Let it move towards this. After that has been done, then the next thing you are going to do is to go in there, select this shape, click OK. Then you rotate it a little bit to form a can to form this. If possible, you can rotate it a little bit longer. Then you reduce the size, have the position around here. Move it a little bit again so as to form this particular blade shape. After that, you can care to still increase it a bit. Okay, perfect, perfect. Shift it up or increase the size. Just position and let it be like this. After that has been done, you can decide to move this in a little bit while you adjust this a little bit as well. After you are able to do that, then the next thing we are going to do is to merge. Just merge the three together. Go into erase color tap it then you cut it out after you are able to do that it's not in there go back to the shape select the color the shape as selected just as perfect as this endeavor to increase the size i mean the, the length click ok then you rotate it let it serve be at the center you can see right reduce the size a bit Okay, or you back, tap on it, increase in length, move it towards direction, reduce the size a little bit, position it here. If possible, you need to rotate. After rotation, position it around there. Don't let it be too close and don't let it be too hard. Then the next thing we're going to do after that has been done, you can reduce the size a bit anyway. Position it back to the center. Use your eyes to gauge it. Then you go to the mask. That's the only thing that can do the work perfectly. Then you are going to cuff it around this particular shape. So that at least there won't be any bias there. Now after turning it the left, you endeavor to do the same thing to the right. So you can see what I did. Then you cut it out. Let it be the outer then you have your result like this position this very well adjust this when necessary then you have your result at the center as you can see now we are going to change this color to another color entirely so let's assume we are changing this color to blue then we we'll have this color we are changing it to something like a dplu just as this or we adjust it just as this let it be somehow lighter okay let it be lighter 
then we we'll have this we can change this color as well to something like this or we increase the size make it to be a, a neutral blue now after having that then the next thing we're going to do we are going to merge the two together and reposition it at the top after that has been done then the next thing we're going to do adding back to your text area put in the brand name so we have what we call relax we have relax cool relax cool this is the brand name what kind of a font can we use that will beautify this and we go along with what we design without spoiling it i have several like for instance i can use lix pattern lix pattern will do the work because it's very bold and could be able to serve the purpose i want it to serve after that i will go to the brand uh, uh, um uh, uh, to the tag which has all about all about tech all about technology then i'm going to make sure that this thing is an upper case then reducing the size will be the best go in there select a uh, font called uh, multizera multizera could be the best for this because it's always obvious and stand out <coughs> in any writer so now could be here multizera then the next thing i'm going to do is to leave the line spacing let there be line spacing between the alphabet go back and position it to the center use that as a kind of a demarcation to adjust this so we have this like this then the next thing we're going to do is to adjust this just blending it together with this then there should be a kind of uh, distances between the between the uh, uh, slogan and the brand name now we have this as our result then the next thing we're going to do is to reduce the size for our logo position it around here you can turn on your grid that will serve as a kind of a demarcation so after you are sure about the position go in there and apply color so i'm applying color blue for this then why the tagline will carry yellow now i'm done with my logo go in there save with transparent background okay perfect then you save your work now we are going to head we are heading back to where we are heading back to our chrome browser so get into our chrome browser i'm heading to photo p the photo p online photo editor so getting in there i have already i've thought about the kind of a mock-up i want to use just tap in on the file and open from the pc heading back to where you have your mockup being saved so for instance i have my own on my file gallery so which i'm going to select right now so after selecting it you wait for it to load a little bit there's no any match there after loading what you are going to do is to scroll down then you are going to see the layer here if you haven't seen a layer you can try to change this so that one will give an avenue for the layer to show at time you might not see anything but when you click your you try, try to change the format you should be able to see that you see your logo here double tap the icon here hide everything that was written there then you scroll down you click on the file click on open and place the design we just make now we are bringing it back here after position it then you screw up a bit so that for you to be able to position it well okay so you move it okay perfect you can increase the size so that when the result came out it will not be too small so we have our results perfect so now go in there and you tap on the file click on save with smart object be looking at the screen of your phone then you see in no time smart object updated tap this simple then be looking at the change then you see that we have our work everything is what is saved 
so the next thing we are going to do is to have our work save is this not amazing very simple and transform then you click on file locate the export and export out as a png now we are going to preview our work and see how the result be save just tap on save and you see automatically you have your work being saved at the tab canner so i'm downloading again then open and let's see how the result be then you can see the result is this not simple and amazing this is how you can run a 3d logo on your android smartphone using <laughs> your pc lab and using photopay i believe this app will in one way or the other don't forget to like and don't forget to share and don't forget as well to comment if this is helpful your comment your likeness we go a long way and will keep me encouraged thank you for watching hit the subscribe button if you are new here and if you are not new don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i update my channel with amazing video like this thank you for watching once again god bless you